negative 43 on your UHF dial, we are KUNT-TV, Sneedville, Purgatory. Hello again, Sneedville. I am Rich Baritone, and it is time once again for Baritone Read Sneed, right here on Negative 43 KUNT TV. I was recently contacted by the lustrous, the real Tyree Sneed, who informed me that there was an excerpt from Tyree Sneed's forthcoming Batman novel in his community post at his newly renamed channel, yet again, the only Great White Hope is now the name of Tyree Sneed's channel right here on YouTube. To continue with the story, no, I had no idea that he put up a sample of his writing, so I went to find it and didn't see it. And then he replied that it was from two weeks ago, and I, you really got to do some scrolling to get to this, folks. It is so worth it. I would not lie to you about comedy. So I decided to do two different things with what we are about to see. The first thing that I am going to do is we're just going to do a straight baritone read Sneed episode. I am simply going to read the script as it is written and that of course is where the comedy lies. After that, I'm going to do a little bit of a production, voices, music, all of that, to truly bring this infantile crap to life. Anybody who's been in Sneedville for any length of time at all knows that Tyree Sneed claims to have been a published author in the first grade. I am about to prove to you he's lying. Are you ready? You're not, but... Here we go! Batman symbolizes hope when hope is destroyed. There is nothing but darkness. Gotham is in dire straits. The city needs a real hero. Someone who is crazy enough to not let fear stop them. See, I am the Batman. I want you to know my story and hopefully you can feel my pain. In this town, there's a bat who devoured a rat. There's also a cat who wants a bat, but doesn't have the courage to stand up and display that. Perhaps one day, change will come. After all, that's what Batman represents. Change, justice, vengeance. Gotham is in dire straits. Crime and poverty has riddled the city. This place needs a hero. Someone crazy enough to stand up and conquer fear. Someone who will face their fears. See, I am the Batman. I hope you can feel my pain in my story. Villains are a dime a dozen. There is always a new evildoer who was and wasn't who's fussied over ways to get rid of the Batman. Okay, gotta read that one again. Villains are a dime a dozen. There is always a new evildoer who was and wasn't who's fussing over ways to get rid of the Batman. That is so wrong on so many different levels, but I, I can't really discuss the technical flaws of that sentence. I used to really know my stuff relative to uh, English. What little bit of time I was in school, school being college, I was an English major. I could diagram a sentence like crazy. Now I, I couldn't diagram a sentence if my very life depended on it. And having read that, neither can Tyree Sneed. All right, let's keep going here. However, there is a few specific villains who stand out amongst the crowd. And there's a Riddler in parentheses. Um, he doesn't know how to write a script either, and you'll see that 
more and more as we go into this. It says, Riddler, I plan to take a baseball bat and bash that bat's brains in until he is no longer speaking. I want him to writhe on the floor idling in pain, stuck in shock, screaming with his brains leaking. Um, if his actual brains are leaking, the, the meat of the matter, if you will, uh, your subject's dead. Now, if he's leaking, you know, fluid, um, he's perhaps not dead, but it's imminent. Uh, it, it's just going on. The Batman is the source of all our problems here in Gotham. He makes evildoers fear for our future. You can't even go out at night and rob a bank in peace now. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> that is completely unprofessional to break up laughing in the middle of a sentence, but it's Needville. Who cares about professionalism? I'll just start that over. Oh, let me get through this. You can't even go out at night and rob a bank in peace now with that scum-sucking bat around. His presence in itself is too loud. I am a question in myself and unto myself. They ask me if I am proud. I am filled with shame. That is the source of my pain. I watch the Batman fight crime in the rain, hoping that one day I can find a way to slay he which brings me so much pain. Joker, in parentheses. Angels deserve to die. That Batman is a display of righteousness that we cannot tolerate or allow to grow. There is no righteous man. No, not one. Continuing, this cannot go on like this or we will lose to this bat. We have to be subversive, deceitful, cunning, wicked, and we can bring the Batman to his knees. Then, and only then, we'll be at peace within our evil city walls we have created. Gotham used to be a place you could wreak havoc and nobody questioned what we had to say. It was a do-whatever-you-want buffet. Now, we're lucky if we can even avoid that bat on the freeway. Everywhere we go, everything we do, all the evil we thought we could get away with behind closed doors is no more because of that wretched bat. He sees everything. How does he do it? I haven't got the slightest clue. Then he very, very lamely, I might add, in parentheses, villains hold a meeting. The members are comprised of Joker, Two-Face, and Mr. Freeze. Two-Face says, That bat's time is coming, I'm telling you. He's not going to last much longer. There is too many people out to get him. If we combine efforts and create a big enough mob, he will be forced to succumb or surrender. We can apprehend the Batman and unmask him publicly for the entire world to see. We can place a jacket on him. Um, I don't know. You're placing a jacket on him. Is it uh, like um, Brown Velour from 77? He probably meant a straight jacket, but he's dumb. We can place a jacket on him, whether it's true or not, and the public will be forced to believe and buy whatever argument we sell them. Let me read that one more time. We can place a jacket on him, whether it's true or not, and the public will be forced to believe and buy whatever argument we sell them. If that made any sense to you, 
Do not pass go, do not collect $200, proceed directly to the psychiatrist's office. Joker, I want the city of Gotham eating out of the palm of my hand, do you understand me? There is no more room for error. We need to change up our approach. We need to get more methodical. Stop it! Stop it! Please! I beg you! Yep, I think that's about all I can stand here on Baritone Reed Sneed. I am Rich Baritone on Negative 43 KUNT TV, and until the next time, I'll talk to ya.